Now, one of the many great things we can do in Photoshop, especially with photography, is actually increase or enhance the lighting in an image. Now, in this particular image, we've got a, a room with the sunlight actually beaming through this window and onto the floor. What I really want is to actually see the sunlight, the beams of light, as it travels across the room and onto the floor here. So, in order to do that, I'm going to first need to create a new layer. And I'm going to go over here and get my rectangular selection tool. And let's just draw a just a selection roughly the size of the reflection I'm going to do. With that selection active, I'm going to go over here and get my gradient tool. And we're going to make sure we're going from white to transparent. And I'm just going to, from the left side, I'm going to hold down my shift key. Just draw in a gradient from that side. I'm also going to draw in one from the other side. That way we've got somewhat of a transparency here in the shape. It's kind of thick, you know, more opaque on the ends here, but very transparent over here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go over to under Filter to Blur, Ga Gaussian Blur. And we'll just leave it at about a 5 pixel blur and that'll be fine. And next thing I'm going to do is double click on this layer and I'm going to apply a outer glow layer style. Increase the size just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more dramatic. That doesn't look like much, but as we go you'll see the effect we're ultimately trying to go for. Now, I'm going to apply a layer mask to this layer. And I'm going to go over here and get my gradient tool once again, but this time making sure we're going from black to transparent because we want to mask out areas of this shape. And on that active layer mask, start at the top, hold down my shift key, I'm just going to drag in. And again from the bottom, holding down from the shift key, just about like that. Okay, so we got our light, now we have to put it in place. So I'm going to actually make a duplicate of this layer because I'm going to be using this shape a number of times. So with that duplicate, I'm just going to turn it off, reactivate the original layer here, and go to my move tool, and I'm going to bring up my free transform, command or control T. And I'm going to go to control or right click on the object. And we're going to get this pull down menu. And I'm going to go down to distort. Now what I want to do, I'm going to grab this corner right here and I want to actually position it right on the corner of this glare of light there on the floor. I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. Position it right about there. Now fortunately this image does give me some guidance as to the direction of the light as seen by these shadows right here. I can actually uh, just line up this glare of light with that shadow line in the window right there. I'm actually going to zoom out so I can get this other shape drawn up in here. You can see I'm just dragging this shape right here using that shadow line as a guide and just about like that. And all I need to do now with this one is just change a blending mode, which I'm going to change this one to soft light, make it a little more subtle. But there you can see we're getting a little bit more dramatic look by actually seeing those beams of light just beaming right into the room there. And like I said before, we got that duplicate, which is a whole other version of that layer. I'm actually going to make a duplicate of it once again. And we'll bring up Free Transform, go through all this once again. This time we're going to bring it down to the bottom half of the window here. And we'll just line this up at the bottom of that window. Just lining it up with that shadow line. and then changing that blending mode to soft light. Now, I could go ahead and spend quite a few more, few more minutes uh, going in and really fine tuning these lines, but there you get a basic idea of how we can take just a few elements and increase the lighting in just a very basic photograph. So we've gone ahead and taken it and made it a little bit more interesting by just adding a couple of layers with a new couple of blending modes. So, there you have it. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time.